Man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, who is K2. And welcome back to another video, man. I know. I told you boys I was going to be consistent. And I'm doing just that, man. As y'all see, got a pool behind me, man. But I just wanted on here. I just wanted to get on here and really just talk to y'all about something, man. That's been on my mind. Really, man. I feel as if the world is getting a little bit more eviler every day. I don't even know if eviler is a word, a word, but the world is getting more eviler every day. And I feel like you guys already know that, you know? You guys can see it in the things that were starting to be shown on the media even more and more, like Netflix and how they're starting to fall in love with the killer, uh, narcissistic, type of shows where they're showing demonic symbolism and stuff and people don't even realize that you know they just sit there and watch their netflix show and think oh man that's so cool cgi is cgi it's just it's just part of the movie not realizing the whole time that it's like some stuff that they're trying to show you to really mind manipulate you because one of the best ways to be manipulated is through something that you view every day and let's say that you have a a hit show that you're into that you're binge watching and it's all about evil stuff or people killing each other all the time that's gonna reprogram your mind to only think about that by the way you guys don't mind what's on my hand i've been playing with dye all day i made some hats today like i dyed some hats i'm gonna put up some pictures or just go check out the instagram they're probably gonna be on the instagram but yeah but just your mind being constantly manipulated and you not realizing what's going on and the world i feel as if needs to wake up to that and another thing that i feel as if the world needs to do a better job of and not just the world everyone in general is to educate the younger generations on the importance of the things that they're going to experience in real life man and school isn't always going to teach you everything that you're going to need in real life because like I'm pretty young, man. I just graduated, and I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the things that I learned in school, I'm really not even using now. And to think that I spent 12 years of my life doing this over and over, afraid not to teach me anything that I'm really gonna use once I leave this place, it's kind of like, hmm, you know? But at the same time, I do not bash education because I feel as if self-education is one of the most important parts of everyone, and everyone should self-educate themselves not just educate themselves on the things that the, the school is educating on educating you on you need to educate yourself on the the arts of selling every person should learn how to sell because one day you're going to need to learn that skill you need to learn the art of communicating speaking i mean we speak every day but a lot of people aren't very good at it and that's the truth where they they say that they're introverts i don't believe in introverts there's no such thing you're just shy you could turn an in intro introvert into an extrovert very easily. Get them in a place where they feel comfortable. And the only way to feel comfortable is you must be uncomfortable. And so what you got to do, you being an extrovert, you got to go talk to people, man. You got to go introduce yourself to new people. Get uncomfortable. Because then you can start building those skills to teach you like, hmm, this is how I talk to these certain types of people. And this is how I talk to these certain type of people. And so we're like, you can talk to almost anyone without being so scared and jittery. Because at the end of the day, you are not an introvert. You're just a person that isn't used to being uncomfortable in situations that involve using your words. But another thing I feel is if the world needs to get better at on teaching at a very early age is the importance of intimacy. Guys, intimacy is very important. A lot of us, we call it what sex, but in the Bible, it calls it intimacy. And I feel as if from the point where we are young all the way to where we're older, we're not very, we're not really taught on the importance of it. You see, we're just usually growing up and then we learn from the kids at school. Cause that's me personally, that's how I learned about it. It was through the kids at school in the locker room. They just talked about it all the time. I was like, what is that? And then you eventually start growing up and then you start learning new things through social media, such as pornography, uh, things through social media that aren't good for you and through a young age you're just 
getting plundered with just the the things that the enemy wants you to see and with the newest technology constantly coming out parents should double down on how they restrict their kids and how they monitor their kids on social media because certain i feel as if kids should not have a phone until they're 15. that's where i feel as if they're kind of starting to mature a little bit because you can't let your kids be on social media nowadays man there's too much crazy stuff going on especially with the propaganda and everything you can have an eight-year-old telling you about joe biden and stuff but you don't want to hear that you want your kids to experience childhood have fun normalize going back outside bro but let's get back to what we're talking about we're talking about how the importance of intimacy adam and eve 